Hello everyone and welcome to Roadmap. So today's topic is Water Resources Part 1. And if you like the video, don't forget to click on thumbs up button below. You can also subscribe for more video updates and you can also give your suggestions in the comment section below. Topics to be covered are Introduction Water Scarcity and Need for Water Conservation and Management Multiple Purpose River Projects and Integrated Water Resource Management Rainwater Harvesting Coming to the introduction, you already know that three-fourths of the Earth's surface is covered with water, but only a small proportion of it accounts for fresh water that can be put to use. This fresh water is mainly obtained from the surface runoff and groundwater that is continually being renewed and recharged through the hydrological cycle. All water moves within the hydrological cycle, ensuring that water is a renewable resource. So you might wonder, what if three-fourths of the world is covered with water and water is a renewable source, resource? Then how is it that countries and regions around the globe suffer from scarcity? Why it is predicted that by 2025, nearly 22 billion people will live in absolute water scarcity? So there are some facts and figures about water that 96% of the total volume of the world's water is estimated to exist as oceans and only 2.5% as fresh water. Nearly 70% of this, of this fresh water occurs as ice sheets and glaciers in Antarctica, Greenland and the mountainous regions of the world, while a little less than 30% is stored as groundwater in the world aquifers. India receives nearly 4% of the global precipitation and rank 133 in the world in terms of water availability per person per annum. And the total renewable water resource of India are estimated at 1,897 square kilometer per annum. So by 2025, it is predicted that large parts of India will join countries or regions having absolute water scarcity. So coming to the water scarcity and the need for water conservation and management. Now, given the abundance and renewability of water, it is difficult to imagine that we may suffer from water scarcity. And the moment we speak of water shortages, we immediately associate with regions which are having low rainfall or those that are drought prone. We instantaneously visualize the deserts of Rajasthan and women balancing matkas used for collecting and storing water and traveling long distances to get water. So you must be uh, sometimes if uh, you are traveling or uh, somewhere in your local area, you must be seeing uh, women who are carrying matkas and traveling long distances for water, right? So the ability, availability of water resources varies over space and time which is mainly due to the variations which in seasonal and annual precipitation. But water scarcity in most cases is caused by overexploitation, excessive use and unequal access to water among different social groups. So this is the reason because of which the water scarcity takes place. Now, uh, there must be some questions which are arising to your mind, right? Now, uh, where is then water scarcity likely to occur? As you have read in the hydrological cycle, fresh water can be obtained directly from precipitation, surface runoff and groundwater. So, is it possible that an area or region may have ample water resources but is still facing water scarcity? So, this must be some of the questions which are arising to your mind, right? So, many of our cities are such examples. Water scarcity may be an outcome of large and growing population and consequent greater demands for water and also unequal access to it. So, a large population means more water not only for domestic use but also to produce more food. To facilitate higher food grain production, water resources are being overexploited to expand our irrigation areas and dry season agriculture. Now, you may have seen in many television advertisements that most farmers have their own wells and tube wells in their farms for irrigation to increase their produce. But have you ever wondered what is this could result in that, is mainly, that may lead to falling groundwater levels, right? 
and it may adversely affecting water availability and food security of the people so post independent india witnessed intensive industrialization and urbanization creating vast opportunities for us today large industrial houses are are a uh, common place as the industrial units of many mncs which are multinational corporations the ever increasing number of industries has made matters worse by exer- uh, exerting pressure on existing fresh water resources industries apart from being heavy users of water also require power to run them much of this energy comes from hydroelectric power Today in India the hydroelectric power contributes approximately 22% of the total electricity which is produced moreover multiplying urban centers with large and dense populations and also urban lifestyles have not only added to water and energy requirements but also have further aggregate uh, aggravated the problem So if you look into the housing societies or colonies in the cities you would find that most of these sit have their own groundwater pumping devices to meet their water needs not surprisingly but when we find that fragile water resources are being over exploited and have caused their depletion in several of these cities so far we have focused on the quantitative aspects of water scarcity Now let us consider another situation where water is sufficiently available to meet the demands of the people but the area still suffers from water scarcity this scarcity may be due to the ba- ba- bad quality of water which is available and there has there has been a growing concern that even if there is ample water to meet the needs of the people much of it may be polluted by domestic and industrial waste chemicals pesticides fertilizers which are used in agriculture which is making hazardous for human use so you may have already realized that the need of the hour is to conserve and manage water resources to safeguard ourselves from health hazards to ensure food security continuation of our lives woods and also productive activities and also to prevent degradation of our natural ecosystems over exploitation and mismanagement of water resources will impoverish this resource and also cause ecological crisis that may have profound impact on our lives so this is about the water and the need for the conservation of water and what are the reasons because of it uh, the ex- over exploitation and then uh, the various uses the industrial uses urbanization these are all the causes because of which the water resources are getting depleted and the water scarcity is taking place so uh, that's it for today i hope that you are enjoying the tu- uh, videos stay tuned for more video videos to come and uh, if you have any suggestions you feel free to ask in the comment section below it takes a lot of efforts to make this video so i would suggest that you just give your feedback whatever it is that if you like the video you don't like the video what whatever it is just write in the comment section below thank you for watching